He's just been encouraged that time. Jack's got the cross in. It's gone all the way to the back post towards Mark Doyle. Strong tackle to get Forrester back in possession. And here is Burns now. It's That's actually down, it's look and he jumped back to Burns again. Yeah. And it's across towards the back post and it's Owen Doyle. Chest. Chest it in. Goal poacher gets himself in a position where he knows the cross is going to arrive. And Daryl Burns a little bit fortuitous, very fortuitous in fact for the second ball to actually end up at his feet. But he didn't really care about that. And he just drove it across goal, a shot or a cross. And it's to Owen Doyle at the back post. UCD were claiming possible offside. No flag. And St. Pat's lead the students by a goal to nil. Ozam heads that one and Brennan's in a good position in the midfield and he won't panic in possession but he lost him. it here and the ref will play an advantage it'll be a yellow for Brennan when the ball comes oh, back we will think down too much. and will King keep it in he will he's crossed the back all the way across the back it'll break to the edge it's Mark Doyle oh, oh what a strike what goal. a goal by Mark Doyle to put St. Pat's 2-0 up in the 58 minute it's bouncing at him he's managed to take a touch and then catch it on the half volley from 25 yards bit of zip on the pitch as well helps to fly past the goalkeeper Lorcan Healy great advantage by the referee Ray Matthews as well after the foul in the middle Billy King dug it out kept it alive and Mark Doyle is there to bang it in and score a second goal of the season for St. Pat's as the Saints lead the students 2-0